The Portland River Hogs played their first regular season game at Boar's Head Field as they played host to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We'll start things off on the opening kickoff as Dillard Gardner kicks to the outside, gets taken down and injured on the play. He'll be out for six weeks with a broken collarbone. Tough break for the undrafted rookie out of Western Oregon. Later on in the quarter, Bortles in the shotgun comes the pressure and he gets the pass off to Avante Brady, makes the play in coverage. Later on in the drive, Bortles finds his six foot six tight end Mercedes Lewis as he gets into Buccaneers territory, setting up a fake to the fullback, pitch to Gotch Queeks Rogers, and he is stripped on the play like a Las Vegas hooker, recovered by the Buccaneers, who take it down into River Hogs territory, setting up a third and nine on the 44 for all the time in the world for Mike Lennon, who fires downfield for Brian Timms, takes it inside the 20-yard line, eventually setting up a first and 10 screenplay for Charles Sims, the second year back at West Virginia, scampers in the end zone. It's a 7-0 Buccaneers lead. Pick things back up in the second quarter now. Play action as Glennon finds the former Oklahoma Sooner, Jermaine Gresham, gets down to the 30-yard line. Then on second and eight, hands off to Bilal Powell, the former Louisville Cardinal, who takes it 31 yards to the house and makes it a 14-0 Buccaneers lead over the River Hogs. Then Glennon's looking to put his team up three touchdowns, but he is denied. Transaction denied by Stevie Brown in the end zone. Swiper, no swiping. He takes knee on the 20, and it'll be 14-0 score heading into halftime. Pick things back up in the third. Mike Glennon takes a shot downfield, and it's picked off by Russ Bradford, the rookie out of Marshall. That's his first career interception, but the offense just can't get anything going, so we'll pick things back up with the Buccaneers. Empty backfield for Glennon over the middle for his man Brian Timms, who takes a big hit from Dwayne Gratz as he brought his toolbox to the game and laid down the hammer. First and 10 now, hand off to Charles Sims, gets out of bounds at the 18 yard line inside the 20, eventually setting up a third and in inches for Glennon to throw an interception. His third of the ball game, the Jonathan Cyprian in the end zone, it's still 14-0. Pick things back up in the fourth quarter. Fourth and two. Bortles over the middle for Avante Brady, who takes it down inside the 15-yard line. The 11 to be exact. And on third and 10, Bortles beautifully thrown ball to Jamarcus Sanford, but he cannot haul it in. Fourth and 10. They're going to go for it for the touchdown, but the pressure comes. Michael Johnson takes him down. They'll turn the ball over. And then the River Hogs like to make things interesting as Bortles to the sidelines for Mercedes Lewis. There's a flag in the play. It's roughing the passer. So we'll take things down to the third and six to the end zone for Cecil Shorts. And he's in the end zone for a 17-7 score now. Cecil Shorts, second touchdown of the season, but it'll be too little too late as with the lack of offense and turnovers on downs twice in the fourth quarter. The River Hogs fall short as they drop to 0-2 on the season, and they lose their home opener at Boar's Head Field with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And with that being said, that'll wrap things up here for this matchup. Don't forget to tune in next time here as the River Hogs travel on down to the Lone Star State to take on their interdivision foe, the Houston Texans. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye.